Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, no, of course not. I haven't engaged your verbal systems. Crichton! Crichton, what are you doing, man? I've just repaired the toaster, sir. Well, I've nearly repaired the toaster. Oh, no, man. Dismantle him. You don't know what a little bleed is like. Well, I've read all the documentation, sir. He's simply a talking alarm clock who provides his owner with early morning toast and light conversation. Not this one. This one's mental. Sir? He's defective. He wants everyone to eat toast all of the time. He's obsessed with it. And if you don't want to eat, like, 400 rounds of toast every hour, he throws a major wobbly. That's what caused the accident in the first place. What accident? The accident involving me, the toaster, the waste disposal, and a 14-pound lump hammer. That explains why he was down in the garbage hole in 3,000 separate pieces. And another thing <laughs> he always says, howdy-doodly-do. Drives your spare. I mean, what the smeg does howdy-doodly-do mean? Yes, well, just trust me, sir. My motives will become clear. Howdy doodly do. How's it going? I'm Talkie. Talkie Toaster, your chirpy breakfast companion. Talkie's the name, toasting's the game. Anyone like any toast? Look, I don't want any toast, and he doesn't want any toast. In fact, no one around here wants any toast. Not now, not ever. No toast. How about a muffin? Oh, muffins. Oh, mu we don't like muffins around here. We want no muffins, no toast, no tea cakes, no buns, baps, baguettes or bagels, no croissants, no crumpets, no pancakes, no potato cakes and no hot cross buns and definitely no smeg and flapjacks. <laughs> ah, so you're a waffle man. <laughs> See? You see what he's like? He winds me up, man. There's no reasoning with him. If you'll allow me, sir, as one mechanical to another, he'll understand me. Now, now, you listen here. You will not offer any grilled bread products to any member of the crew. Now, if you do, you will be on the receiving end of a very large polo mallet. Hm. Can I ask just one question? Of course. Would anyone like any toast? <laughs> did you, didn't you hear what I just said? Yes, but I thought you might have changed your mind in the meantime. You see... You see what he's like? We haven't changed our mind. No toast! But I'm a toaster. It is my raison d'etre. I toast, therefore I am. If you don't want any toast, why did you repair me, hmm? Yeah, why did you repair him? Well, he's a guinea pig for a technique called intelligence compression. His AI chips are very badly damaged in the accident. Well, that was no accident. That was first-degree toaster side. Look, just shoot your grill. <laughs> Ow! By rerouting his circuitry and channeling all his runtime through a single CPU, I've managed to restore his intelligence at the cost of reducing his operational lifespan. So? So, if it works with him, it could work with Holly. We could restore her IQ of 6,000. She could be brilliant again. <laughs>